On this episode of Pedalbox, we help prep the Wrathfinder. A 92 Nissan Pathfinder with John from Mad Scientist Garage for our friend Van, who's entering a trailer race at Irwindale Speedway. Yes, today we're doing an impromptu build of a demolition derby car ready for a trailer race that Van is in at the weekend. So we've got this Nissan Pathfinder that we need to make demo derby ready. So we need to pull the interior out, fit in a B-pillar brace, relocate the battery, and then try and shenanigans up a few other bits and pieces to make it safe, safe, to track. Safe is maybe an overstatement with this, but first, let's take a look at what we've got to work with. So, what we have here is your standard 3-liter Nissan uh, light truck engine. Lots of dry-rotted belts and hoses, and they were rated at like 150 horsepower close to 30 years ago. So we're figuring like 110, maybe 120 if we pull out the air filter. Uh, we're going to chain a boat to this thing, and... Uh... <laughs> wow, this thing is bad. How many miles are on it? Oh, man. It's guaranteed to have a whole bunch of blow by it, probably. <laughs> this thing is awful. Uh... So this is Van, we've been crashing at his place all this week, which has been really, really awesome. And he's gonna tell you exactly what a trailer race is. So trailer race is a little bit different from a demolition derby. The idea is that you have a vehicle, any size, from a Ford Focus to a large truck, yeah. having some type of rig of a trailer. The Pathfinder has no trailer hitch, so the wheel rack on the back is going to have to do, with some chain holding it between that and the bumper supports. Luckily, there's a few cars we can scavenge from. This Cadillac with the famously unreliable North Star V8 has clearly seen some action and won't be running again anytime soon, so it's safe to steal some parts from it. It had plenty of chain to attach the trailer and close the doors off, and some bonus battery cables to help us relocate the battery into the cab. It's quite a common fix, as a lot of cars don't have trailer hitches when they get scrapped. Plus there was this Dodge 2500, and whilst it's far too wide, it does have a B-pillar support, which we need to make the car pass tech. It's far too long to fit between the B-pillars on our Pathfinder, and we don't have a grinder or a welder, so we're going to have to work something out. Now another thing for safety, we have to take all the glass out of the car. A poor way to do this is by smashing the windows in. <laughs> My fucking Nailed it! <laughs> but it is right. good fun. So that's exactly what we did. Nailed it! This thing works brilliant! <laughs> <Except it. laughs> yeah. Fine, do the next one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can get a lot of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the big problem with this is once you've smashed all the windows in, you have to clean them out. And without a vacuum, that turns out to be a massive pain and takes a long time with a broom. Of course, not that it stopped us, but next time maybe we'll smash the windows out rather than into the car. That's what the start switch is for. Yeah. Is work. <laughs> Starting it, probably something we should have checked way earlier, wasn't actually too bad. And we got lucky with the battery out of the 2500. It worked, but the screw terminals were a little bit sketchy, and there was even a penny mashed inside in order to make the contacts work. But it did work, and we got a bonus 5 16th socket to boot. Yeah. <laughs> and while it's running, critical checks can be made, like, does it do oh, yeah. donuts? Does it shift gear? And oh, maybe, yeah. does it stop?
Irwindale has a great community, and every Thursday it's packed, both for the strip and the burnout box. They have music, huge crowds, and it's just a really good atmosphere. After a long day prepping the Wrath Find, it was a great way to kick back and relax and just chat to people who were way more competent at building cars than we are. If you haven't seen our previous video from last year, go and check it out now. So we finished up last night and we got the B-pillar post installed between the two doors, which when you consider it came out of a massive uh, 99 Dodge 2500 to fit into the sort of beat the doors closed. That'll stop anybody cr just crushing the car in half. The glass to get back out the car first, so Van's just clearing out some of that. And then we've got the most important thing of any race car, stickers. I've not done a lot of stickering, nor weeding all of the stickers off the print. Some of these were really fiddly with lots of small bits and tiny letters, but it just takes time and patience. Not something I always have, but this seemed to work out alright. Ah! I wonder why this end isn't sticking. There we go. That's... <sighs> we got away with it. Pretty much. But that's not all we did this trip. So one thing we didn't do last time we were here in July was come to Hoonigan to look in the shop and see what's around. And the guys have nicely said that we can have a poke around a little bit, but they are filming, so we can't go inside, which is a bit of a shame, because we were offered a tour, but unfortunately, because they're filming, we're just going to make too much noise, which is fair, because that would bug the life out of me as well. So we had a quick look around at some of the cars outside. There's a really nice E30 down the far end and a 270Z. Uh, there's also this Mustang up here, which is on some enormous rubber in the back. And we had a look in the shop, so we've got a couple of little stickers to put up in the garage at home. But yeah, another one ticked off the list. We came to Hoonigan and we're hopefully going to come back again. So that's the Wrathfinder done. It's all ready for this weekend. Hopefully it's going to do well, but we're going to be on a plane when it's actually doing its thing, which is going to be a bit of a disappointment. But hopefully we can get some video from somebody and try and sort something out. Yeah, there will be somebody taking video of this for sure. Thanks very much. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Sadly, the Wrathfinder didn't make it that weekend. Unbelievably, the makeshift chain attachment, so often used by others and recommended for us to use, didn't hold and the trailer detached before the start of the race. The next race is in a few months, so we'll get to see it in action yet, but for now, the Wrathfinder is dormant. Until then, don't forget to check out the website and our merch at pedalbox.show shop, and if you'd like to support our regular builds, then head over to patreon.com slash pedalboxshow. Finally, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to get notified of new uploads, hit the bell too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.